If Simon Pagano drove the best race I've ever seen anybody drive at a speedway in person, then this guy holds the honor of driving one of the worst races I've ever seen him drive in person. It is the Marco Andretti 2019 U.S. Concrete Mario Andretti Tribute. This is a very stunning livery. One that was really hyped up throughout the month of May. And one die cast that is going to be extremely hard to find. Quite frankly, it was hard to find at the Speedway in general. The, one, the, the store I got this from was in the gift shop that was next to the food court in Pagoda Plaza. And they had a huge number of back orders to take with this car. This car was extremely high in demand. And when I went to the gift shop, they only had three of these left. Just three. And luckily, they got some more in by car day. But the, finding this car at the track was finding where's Waldo, pretty much. It was, it was a chore to finally get it. I mean, I got the 164 from the Mario Andretti store at the F1 garage gift shops because during the month of May, they opened up the old F1 garages and they opened up the gift shop and they put a gift shop inside of it. And I picked up the Marco Andretti car from the Mario Andretti store gift shop, that garage stall, and I picked up that car and I also picked up the 118 because I truly believe the 118 is going to be it's going to be excruciating to find it at the end of the year. I mean, you can find it online. I'm pretty sure, you know, plenty of people have it online. I'm pretty sure, you know, like eBay has it. I'm sure Gutsware has it. I'm sure Gearhead's probably going to pick up a few. Quite frankly, I'm sure Plan B Sales has a few right now. But once it's going to dry up, it'll dry up. And this is not a matter of if, but it's a matter of when it's going to dry up. When is it going to completely sell out? I mean, I don't know how many of these they made. I could look at the DIN number of this very car, but I'll tell you what. They did not produce enough of these. It's a low supply, high in demand. Therefore, when it dries up, the price is going to go up. Drastically. So anyways, the packaging is spectacular. It's an aerial view of the speedway on the yard of bricks. It's got Marco Andretti's number 98 symbolizing his grandfather Mario. And the special packaging, they absolutely did a fantastic job on. It's got the Indy 500 logo. And it's got the start of 1969 in the background. And I believe Mario's car is on the front row. Is that number the, the Hawk? Yes, it is. And it just basically shows you how Marco is his 14th start. And I, don't, and I think they failed to mention that he should have won his rookie year. Yeah. Let's not get into that, though. I was a little 13-year-old kid cheering on Marco, and then some guy named Sam Horners took the win. Yeah, that was not a fun uh, evening, I'll tell you that. But here we are. Marco Andretti's Indy 500 car is here, and there are a few heads-ups I should give about this car, first and foremost, that I'm going to try to get the lighting as correct as possible. Let's see. Nope. This camera does not like day glow orange. Or day, yeah, or, or color red pretty much, wherever it is. This camera doesn't like it. So, I will tell you this. The color you're seeing on camera is completely different than what it really is. And that is because I'll give the same lecture. That this is the famous STP color red, and that was because they used this color red to get it to actually look like it's red on the TV cameras. And that's the history behind that. That's why I also see the Menards cars have the same kind of color. I cannot get the lighting right for the life of me. This is really irritating me. Like the lighting looks good in real life, but it looks like crap on the camera. This is going to be very difficult, just bear with me. I think anybody 
who took a photo of the car at the track or who's seen a photo of it kind of sympathizes with me on this one. It is, however, one of the coolest cars on the grid this year. And I severely recommend the 164 if you cannot afford the 118. So let's go over some sponsors here. U.S. Concrete, the Andretti Autosport logo, Dallara, U.S. Air Force, Napa, Gainbridge. There's no Gainbridge 118 this year, FYI. DHL, U.S. Concrete, NTT Verizon IndyCar Series, Honda, Unifirst, Marco, uh, Marco Andretti, number 98, Raw 4 Mortgage, U.S. Concrete, Firestone, and Siemens. U.S. Concrete on the driver's headrest, and there's the Andretti Autosport logo. Hobson, Auto Nation, Oberto, Circle K, RLH, U.S. Concrete, U.S. Air Force 98, DMG Mori, P1 Award, NTT Veri uh, Verizon, Firestone Stratasys, uh, yeah, I butchered the hell out of that name, sorry. NTT IndyCar Series, number 98, Marco Andretti, you get out what you put in. That's a proper name for a fuel, for a fuel intake. Uh, Alberto, Speedway. That is weird seeing Speedway logos. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's going to be weird coming Brickyard weekend, let me tell you that. U.S. Concrete, Ruoff, Curb Anigan. Uh, curb Records, excuse me. Unifirst. Curb again, DMG Mori, and... Well, that's not DMG Mori. I can't tell what that is. And Sharon Williams. Number 98 on the back wing. Delivera. And Honda. I probably butchered that name, hell out of name, it, hell that name anyways. And USConcrete.com on the back wing. There's the back of the car. And the side is the same as the left. This is one of my personal favorite cars of the year. It is going to be one that is going to be incredibly hard to find. And my suggestion is, if you have an extra $9 to spare, go to... Plan B sales, go to free time hobbies, go to Alpha Collectibles, get one before the drying up process begins. Because it was hard to find it at the Speedway, it is going to be harder to find it once it completely dries up. And it is a fabulous die cast. All around, spectacular job by Greenlight. They did a phenomenal job as much as they could with this car. There are some nitpicky things I would change, which is the one that's really got to me is the scoring monitor is not on the car. And I think that's largely due to the fact that this car got approved before the changes that they were announcing that they're going back to the scoring monitors. So, a little sympathy on that one. But you bet as damn well hell if they get Paginos wrong. It's not going to be pretty. I will not be happy. But anyways, the overall livery of this car. The famous STP Red is on this car. I'm going to call it that. The Granatelli Red, too, we'll call it. Granatelli Red. You know, that's a famous color. And I'm glad they brought it back for one race, even though Marco literally drove the worst race I've ever seen anybody drive at the Speedway. Comic, and he was really slow. I mean, he started, what, 10th in the race? And by lap 15, he was back in 30th. So much that Jordan King was a lap behind Marco. Jordan King unlapped himself from Marco, passed Marco for position, and then lapped Marco. 
it was tough seeing him be that slow because I really wanted to see this car do well. In fact, I really wanted him to win the 500. I mean, Marco wasn't a bad pick race morning. But whatever happened, I mean, just quite frankly, that something had to happen with the car. Because it was just bad. And this car has the famous Granatelli Red. The front wing is a beautiful metallic silver finish. Does that enjoy the Autosport logo off or am I on drugs? Might be. But um, the wing plates, colored black. It's got the famous Andretti banner. Wish they had that, that, that nice touch to it. It's got a nice silver metallic stripe and there's a metallic stripe covering. Well, you can't see it. I don't blame you. This is not a really good showing here for the camera. That is metallic silver outlining the roll hoop. Metallic silver once again on the back wing. It is one of the top die casts to get this year. In general. This one. Sebastian Bourdais. Connor Daly. Uh, Hinchcliffe. That is Matt. That is a cool looking car. The Yellow Submarine. I believe... I'm trying to think of what other was really cool this year. They're all awesome, but those really are my top five. Not in particular order, of course. And, of course, the bias in me is going to say that the 500 winner is going to be the best one of the year. That is 100% bias. Screaming Fan in turn three over here was, was flipping crazy when Pagina won the race and I am so glad that they're gonna make the 500 winner and quite frankly we will go over in the next video that if you get the regular car over the 500 car you really deserve to be evaluated that's just my personal my personal take comment like and subscribe and this is race day 20 reminding you to join the fight to stop bullying it gets better all the diecast kid is saying is give peace a chance.